everybody, and welcome back to the adventures of Wilbur. Uh, last time we actually got out of Dodge, we managed to actually warp out. It was a it was a long episode. I cut it into two parts. <laughs> we had that that boss battle, so uh, yeah, that was that was a mistake. I could have stopped it at the point that I stopped it at, but I didn't, and you know it happens. Anyway. We are out of that galaxy now, or system, I guess. Not necessarily galaxy. I don't know. I don't know how this works. I don't I don't know how any of this works. I don't know where we are. I have no idea about anything going forward. <laughs> I am completely in the dark now, so that's fun. So now we are going to hit the map here and actually see what our surroundings are. Okay. Lord Captain, Raver's voice over the voice over the Vox sounds weary rather than annoyed. I'm getting reports of several ships moving towards us, judging by the fact that they're not responding to our hails, and the telemetry shows a trail of micro batteries. Macro batteries? Uh, they're not here for a chin wag. Ready to issue orders and prepare for battle at your command. Okay. So now, they're probably going to introduce ship combat to us, I'm assuming. Where did they come from? We, why haven't we noticed them before? Could this be the work of Voidiger? Voitavger? Verger? 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 Uh, can we evade this combat? Uh, no, because it's probably a tutorial. <laughs> On my order, all stations are ready for combat. Oh, uh, where did the ships come from? The rubbish of Furibundus. Okay, that's horrible. <laughs> I had a nickname for that last time, I think. I, I messed it up. I don't remember. Uh, and I'm ta not talking about these uh, wrecks that are about to open fire. I mean, the remains of meteorites, gas clouds, refuse. Uh, oh, refuse from refuse from the shipyards. Uh, it all bunches together and the smaller ships hide behind it to harass ships that emerge from the warp. Okay. Could this be the work of Gunrad? The silence of the Vox lasts several seconds. It's possible he has... <laughs> he could have hired some scum, but maybe it's just a pirate who saw the ship in our state uh, and decided to push his luck. All right. Onward we go. I stand ready to serve you and the Imperium, Lord Captain. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Moving the ship in combat. You've entered the enemy uh, in space combat. You engage the enemy in space combat. Battles in space uh, and on the surface of planets work quite differently from one another. In space combat, the battlefield is separated by three zones marked by various degrees of brightness. Acceleration zone, mid-movement zone, end-movement zone. Oh, look at them ramming. That's cool. Uh, okay, so there's the three zones. Uh, ships that travel at high speeds even during combat, which is why both our ships and those of the enemies must move a certain distance each round. You can only end your turn once your ship has traveled its this minimum required distance upon entering the end movement zone. Oh, okay, so we have to move every turn. To move the ship, click left mass button on the ac uh, uh, accessible cells on the battlefield. Once you do, you will see a hologram of the ship that will allow you to evaluate the efficiency of future attacks and actions from that position just like you would in regular combat. Click left mouse button again to confirm your choice and command the ship to move. Alternatively, you can click right mouse button to move the hologram. To remove the hologram. Okay, so it's just like... Ah, I didn't put in... Uh... What's his face to be the shield master? Good thing I did put everything everybody in. I I I'm glad I had that foresight at least. Okay. So Huh, so I at least have to move so I can just that's my turning radius. Interesting. Um 
Okay, so what are all these buttons? We've got the RAM. We've got... Macro battery. Short range broadside macro cannons, which fire four shots, dealing 14 damage per shot. I have that on each side. Restart shields. Initiate the process of restarting the shields. The shields uh, will be restored at the state of the flagship next turn. Rerouting the power to the shields reduces the flagship speed by three and firing range by two for its next turn. Okay. And then I have just big cannon. I have a front and then port and starboard. I have a laser weapon, it seems. That's cool. Long-range lance weapon dealing uh, 45 to 55 damage to a chosen enemy within a narrow firing arc. Or I have torpedo tubes plasma. Launch four torpedo salvo sal <laughs> salvos with plasma boreheads in the selected location. These torpedoes can move and attack starting from the next round. When attacking, each torpedo deals 19 damage on a direct hit and 13 within one cell radius on a miss, detonating on a proximity fuse. Okay, so I have to move. Oh, and I can't, I can't dictate my, uh, my orientation. So maybe I want to do this. Hmm, maybe I can go a little more. Yeah, and go a little more this way. We can hit him with this, and then from there we can hit the... Oh, shit. It's just out of range here. Uh, is that... That's not gonna hit him now. And neither will these. Okay, cool. So that's unfortunate. I was going to set up another attack there. Maybe I can go here and then ram them. Uh, the flagship uh, rams the enemy dealing damage. This damage is increased by 10% for each void movement point spent by the flagship to get to the enemy ship, but only after traveling three cells. The flagship is then slowed and unable to prowl mounted weapons until the end of its turn. What is? What do you mean by prowl? Weapons. Prowl mounted. Section of the void ship where the prowl mounted weapons can be installed. <laughs> okay. Epic. Awesome. Uh, this can only be done during the acceleration phase. Okay. So, I actually don't think that's the play. I think we go here and then hit them with this. Lay in the coals. Attacking with weapons. Your ship is equipped with an arsenal of weapons, which ship... Okay. <laughs> uh, fuck that tutorial. Uh, <laughs> some ships are protected by shields. To damage the enemy, uh, first pierce the shields. Two arrays covering the ship's side. Uh, one protects its bow and one protects its stern. When facing the enemy ship equipped with shields, choose your angle of attack wisely and direct your fire at the side where the shields are weakened or completely depleted. Note the enemy shields recover each round. Uh, the Rogue Trader's flagship is likewise protected by shields. If the enemy attacks you from a side where the shields are weakened or depleted, you can your ship will take damage. Flagships damage shield do not recover at the start of the turn. Instead, they can be restored using the restart shield. Um, restarting the shield resists, reduces the flagship's combat efficiency on the next turn and will have reduced movement and speed and fire range. Okay. Okay, so I actually did do quite a bit of damage there. I was quite surprised. We have this. We might be able to just... Sh well, it doesn't say... It says it does the exact same amount of... Oh, this is four shots. This is two shots. Okay. And then can I use every one of these every turn? Leave that Let's do that. Across the stars. Epic. Uh, and then I guess we'll shoot a missile here. Annihilate them. Okay. 
Torpedoes. You fire torpedo salvo. Torpedoes will appear next turn in the priority order once uh, their turn begins. You'll be able to direct them. Your Orn torpedoes can pass through the space occupied by their flagship without damaging it. As soon as the torpedoes reach a cell adjacent to an enemy, they explode. The enemy ships can be attacked. To your, can attack your torpedoes and destroy them before they reach the target. One well placed shot destroys the salvo. Okay. I think I will end my turn there. Oh, we must reach one of these green spots, eh? Okay, so then I can do that. This son of a bitch is directly where I can't get him. That works. And I'll do that. Okay. That, uh... That sucked. Why did that suck? I don't know. Okay. They're gonna fire. Took a tiny bit of damage. Now it says 80. On, okay, 48 on that side. I'm gonna be hit. 67. 14. Okay, so it's directional based. Okay, this is interesting. So. I guess we go there. I didn't expect them to go past me. I'll be real. I'm kind of dumb that way. But they are in proximity. So they should blow up. Unless they just don't. Which is cool. Um... <laughs> So we're going to swing wide here. Uh, I think we go this way and then hit him with the side Another there. I should have checked. Uh, hey, oh, we got him. Cool. So these won't blow up now, maybe. And then reload one round. Okay. Yeah, this is what I should have checked, but uh, they were in range and also they're dead, so it doesn't matter. So I have 80 shield on there. He's just kind of going. Oh, perfect. Get fucked. Okay, so they... They had two turns before they explode. Okay. Won your first void combat. Excellent. Enemies' attacks can prevent your shields and damage your ship's hull. Can penetrate your shield and uh, uh, this damage remains after the battle is over and must be repaired. Open the void ship management screen to make repairs to your ship. Use the scrap to repair your ship and restore the hull integrity. Uh, scrap can be found while exploring the star systems collected by certain space battles. After certain space battles are purchased by merchants affiliated with various factions. Okay, so we got 32 scrap. That will probably do us, you know? That'll probably repair us, for sure. Uh, we got some Void Pirate trophies, and then we got half a fucking level, which is cool. Okay. It's first successful combat, it seems. Very cool. Now we have a ton of places to go. Footfall is obviously where we want to go last, if I'm being honest. I want to check out these other places. We took two damage in that entire, and it'll take two scrap to repair. So it's one scrap per damage, which is, it's, uh, that's concerning. That's expensive. That's more expensive than I thought it was going to be. Uh, let's go to posts. Uh, who is not at a post? Uh, Pascal and Heinrich, because we didn't, Let's put Heinrich on. Oh, shit. I meant to do that. And then Wilbur will be Supreme Commander. And then Pascal, you're good. I think you have no abilities. And you have a persuasion skill of. Oh, persuasion is what's needed for that. Okay, so what actually can you do anything better than 
the people here. Yes, you can be the shield master, actually. You have tons of persuasion skill required. Weird. Oh, skill required tech use. I don't know why it says persuasion there. Okay, so demolition, persuasion, tech use, athletics, lore warp, and awareness. Yeah, okay. So that's pretty much a good... That is a good uh, thing there. Got a uh, full upgrade tree just like the other ones. 50 scrap to upgrade our shit, but I don't really think we need it. Yeah. Well, that was cool. First space battle here. Uh, let us go to Alter Temporary Claxus X17. Isn't that where we... It said not to visit? <laughs> Lord Captain, the station's airlocks have been sealed from the inside. A Vox recording is stating that the priesthood of the sanctuary have no desire to communicate with the Laitney uh, and are refusing access to guests on the basis of the Adeptus Mechanicus privilege of invulnerability, uh, granting them sole jurisdiction over their sacred sites. So we actually can't go there in general that will probably not be the case later 50 xp just for scanning the dead world dead world added to the expanse cool worlds of the expanse okay never mind oh shit okay uh my bad you forgetting that duris's blessing isn't that where uh, Argenta wanted to go, or no? Am I misremembering? I might be misremembering. Lord Captain, we have a flagship, uh, Duris's Blessing, with a small escort dead ahead. Uh, they're requesting a direct Vox channel patching you through. Chartist Captain Austerius Thoroughfast. <laughs> Uh, the Vox channel clicks, and after a brief pause, a dry, low voice hails you. Greetings, Lord Captain. I am honored to be speaking with the tr rogue trader of House Von Valencius. May your name be through the known through the ages. Uh, Chartist Captain Ar Astarius Thoroughfast, bearer of a free charter of the merchant's fleet. How can we serve you? Over and out. I'm oh, just kidding. Uh, what's your squadron doing here? Uh, we've developed supply routes for Chartists. Uh, you see, my ship is a representative of the merchant fleet and is part of the Imperium territory, yet we do not have a fixed charter-defined trade route. Our mission is to establish business contacts with voidfarers in need of regular ship repairs and those who are interested in specialized goods. I want to take a look at your catalog and components available for purchase. Oh, look at that. I can buy shit. Oh, cool. Oh, is this shit for my ship? Maybe? No, let's not fucking look into it more. Let's look at all these. Provides void ship weapons with targeting data, granting 80% hit chance and 5% critical hit chance. Oh, that. Oh, that's what I currently have. Okay, and then this is just a straight upgrade of granting 90%. Okay. I currently have an 11 speed. This would give me a 13 speed. Uh, torpedo tubes. Oh, and then there's my... Uh... Okay, so those are my two weapons that are on the prow, I guess. And then this is torpedo tubes firing for... Uh... Okay, so this is what we already have. I could just get another one and have two torpedoes. Um, this is the same lance weapon. This is Glimmer Patter Void Ship she or Void Shield Array. So this gives us 80 points of protection for each sector. This provides 70 points to each sector. This amount is doubled against enemy blast attacks. Okay, so... This is 
gives me less, but then if they're using blast weapons, it's doubly effective. So it's kind of like a who am I fighting kind of thing. Reputation. Oh, this is the Imperial Navy. Okay, cool. Okay, so this is all they want. They don't want any of this. They don't want any of this. They just want void pirate trophies. And this would give me 300 bucks. That's all they want. They want trophies from things. Okay, cool. So I'm thinking that a lot of these things um, are faction specific. Like certain factions want certain things and they don't really overlap. Maybe they probably do. But I'm just guessing. So this is... It doesn't show us. It doesn't show what specifically is what we're trading away. Hide unavailable trades. There we go. Selectable tradable. Clear section. Okay. Ah, here we go. Cargo. This is what we just got. So it takes 3,500 to level them up. So I don't think this is going to do all that much. I think we're still going to hold because we can come back and uh shit how do i go back to the bridge there it is because we can still access that from the the other dude on the bridge right let me just go check that i just want to double check make sure that we have access to that at any time which will be good uh, it was this guy over here, right? This guy? The Factorum. The Factotum, excuse me. Uh, I don't want that. Uh, where is the... I would like to order shipping and transportation of goods. Yes, okay. Oh, we lost... We lost the ability to trade with those other guys because they're not on this map. Okay, so we can still trade with this guy specifically. That is unfortunate. We probably should have sold our stuff, but I'm sure we'll get access to these guys later. Uh, so they just have a bunch of ship parts. We don't... They don't really have anything we need right now, and we don't really have enough to level them up and get access to new things so i think it's okay to not do that uh actually i guess we're going to footfall because <laughs> i thought there would be more to do but it seems like there wasn't hi factorum uh your lordship something sinister is unfolding amongst the survivors of recommendoris uh, they have already been several cases of evacuated refugees being found either dead or dying. All of them had been blinded using various means. I fear there is a reason to believe that there were agents of the cult among the people who came aboard. I knew the... Anathema? I don't know what that is. Would not fully release its hold on the doleful souls just yet. Then let us march and drive it away. Can you give me a proper report on the refugees? How were they quartered? How are they supervised? I need to know more about the killings. Begin the interrogations. Uh, give me a report. The serfs and the planetary wardens were assigned to two auxiliary lower decks. The commoners were riled up and frightened by the calamity, so to keep the, their senselessness in check, we also assigned the those of sound mind to work and pump sedative gas <laughs> through the ventilation into the compartments holding the rest. Jesus Christ! You were drugging these people. The venerated Praetor uh, Electro uh, and his retinue <laughs> took refuge 
in one of the engineering bays, and more accurately, they barricaded themselves in. The wise servants of the Omnisire are fearful beyond measure that arrogant lay people might damage and uh, or offend their miraculous fusion reactor, so they cloistered themselves in their own personal fortress. Did we take the fusion, fusion reactor? I thought we just saved the priests. Uh, I need to know more about the killings. 11 bodies have been found thus far. The first victim had their eyes burned out with a gas torch. The second had acid splashed in their face. The third was found wandering around and their last legs on their last legs with a metal pins sticking out of their eye socket. They died before we could interrogate them. The rest were killed or disfigured in similar ways through blinding. No trace of the killer's identity was found. Begin the interrogations. It will be done, your lordship. Uh, if I may interject, there is no need. The interrogations have already been conducted. I put the enforcers on alert as soon as the first body was discovered, though I decided not to disturb your lordship until I had the results. Well, uh, now I do. We are have already arrested, let's see, four perpetrators at the scenes of the crime that had yet to take place. Those, those are not murders. They are suicides. Explain yourself, Seneschal. The people were apprehended. Uh, the people we apprehended were about to blind themselves and end their own lives. I have conf I am confident that all who perished did the same. When questioned, they all said the same thing. They were haunted by the sight of dying Ragged Minor Minoris. Minoris. Uh, <laughs> even in their sleep. They still see the same horrific picture, and the sad wretches would do anything to make the nightmares stop. Add tr a triple dose of sedative to the rations. Uh, perform cleansing liturgies. Oh, excuse me. On the decks housing the refugees, we shall banish this blight with the strength of our faith. Increase surveillance. Assign enforcers to watch the passengers. If this is not the work of cultist, then I could not care less. Once they're off my ship, that will be that. Well, I don't want to do that. Uh, I guess increase surveillance. Certainly, Lord Captain, except I am afraid that is not just the refugees. Three people out of the four were arrested were members of the crew. They watched Mykonoris die and it left their minds scarred. We all bear the mark of that dark catastrophe for it was attention. For it was the attention of the ruinous powers that branded our very souls. May the God Emperor have mercy on us. You were warned, Lordship. It is regrettable that you did not listen. Fair enough. All right, let's go. What? I have to wait for the inspection? Okay, that was weird. Oh, look at this nice map. Okay, looks like we can't go anywhere but the... Uh, Void Dock Alpha Roa. And then... Ah! So we lost Heinrich. Cool. <laughs> We're gonna have to uh, level up Adira then. Definitely. Yo, that's sick. <laughs> that's a big sick statue, bro. Uh, yes. Didn't I arrive not incognito, I believe? Yeah, I guess all these people are here to meet me. What a cool shuttle. I love the design of that shuttle. It's very blocky, but very, very cool. Hello, everybody. Uh... <laughs> 
The welcome procession is not particularly long, but it does attract attention. Everybody is dressed in their finest apparel, every button gleaming. Standing in front of the others is a woman with clearly expensive implants. She bows in a solemn curtsy. Rogue Trader, you publicly announce your identity when you arrived on Footfall. Footfall welcomes you on behalf of the liege, Lord Vladim Takara. Uh, allow me to express my joy at your arrival. The liege waits, awaits you at his residence, but should you have other business to conduct on the station, I would be honored to serve as your guide. Cassia's lip curls slightly. This is so familiar. Behind the amber-colored scattering of words of welcome, far less appealing hues lurk, murky and diluted, the look of someone accustomed to lying and hiding their intentions. Adira jerks her head, shakes it, and hisses through her teeth. Someone's coming, and they're coming for us. Watch out, Lord Captain. Abelard sighs and casually places his hand on his weapon. Uh, Adira, who's coming? Jesus, what the fuck was that? Why am I glowing now? Judging by the voices, there's a lot of them angry. They've got teeth, but they aren't that sharp. Their strength is their numbers. Uh, liege representative, uh, pray, what are you talking about? What could you mean with such cryptic pronoun? She does not get to say the rest. Hey, newcomers. Well, fuck you, I guess. How's this for a warm welcome? Jesus Christ. They killed everybody but Take us. <laughs> Weren't we the target? What the starch. hell? Okay, immediately. Uh, what is this buff on Abelard? Forewarning, the Psyker increases the target's dodge and parry by... Oh, shit. I just realized that Deer is underleveled for this fight. Damn, I should have leveled her up on the ship. Fuck, I didn't think about it. Uh, okay. So, here we are. Uh, Wilbur, where is... Abelard. Abelard, you're gonna get in there. Actually, you're gonna go on this side. Because I think Cassia can take out these guys. One, two, three, four, five, maybe six. Holy shit. You're fucking OP. Oh god, there's more back here. I thought you said they weren't strong, Adira. What the hell? It's just their numbers. It's just their numbers, guys. Oh shit, there's more back here. Oh, actually, Cassia might be able to do it more on this side. Let's actually get right here, because I don't like this dude right here. Uh, let's go on that side. Cassia, where are you? You will be right here. That's fine. Uh, Argenta, you're going to protect her as much as you can. Adira, you're going to get over on this side and help Abelard. Pascal as well. Uh, I actually think that Adira should move back one and then Pascal could be... Pascal can go here. And then Wilbur, I'll put you on this side. Just to kind of... Well... Maybe I should put you here. Maybe you'll have shots on this fucking bloodstained whatever. All right, let's start it. Wilbur. Oh, shit, look at all this. Oh, that's right. I can establish a front line, a back line, and a rear. Okay, well, that's... Hmm. That buffs people on the front line, so I will do it here. Well, I'll do it over here because Abelard's going to be getting in there, Already right? Done. There we go. There's the front line. We will do the back line. As this right here, I'm guessing. Maybe. Yeah, this Not is a fine. problem for me. And then, uh, rear. Can I rotate this? Is this... Kind of weird that I can't rotate that, but... 
I guess oh, they, they can't overlap. That's right. Well, I don't know why I can't do it diagonal or the other way like that. That kind of pisses me off. Uh, I guess I'll do it here, even though that doesn't really make sense. <laughs> oh, fuck me. It changed. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, for now, please tell me you got shots on this guy. 60%. Not that good. Uh, let's first off give this to Cassia. Not my specialty. Too far. Okay. It's a good thing we can move. Then, uh, let's move here and then give it to her. No, she's still too far. Okay. We're getting out of cover then, it seems. Uh, let's stand in the back line then, if that's the case. All too easy. There we go. And then you... We'll blast the shit out of some motherfuckers. Uh, it doesn't look like I can. Oh, it looks like I fucked this up. I didn't have. I don't have the perfect. Everything dies here as I wanted. Okay, so it seems like I can get these three or these two with this back here. I'll do this. If I may. That works. What is this one? Press the advantage. Oh yeah, this is the new shit that I haven't been able to look at. Master Tactician empowers the next attack and deals a 4% damage for every stack of uh, tactical advantage. This is half the stack advantage rounds up. Okay, so I have 13 of these? I guess I'll do that. Maybe should have done that first. I don't even know. Uh, let us, let's get Abelard Since in there. My purposes. Let's put him right here. A tactically sound approach. Yes. Move up one space. Thank you. And then, uh, let's take a shot. Shall we? 81%. Not bad. Ugh. Nice. And then I'll put this on Abelard. I think that's good for now. Good one, dipshit. Fucked your friend hard. And he got an opportunity of attack. And everybody dodged. Holy shit. And you did very little damage. I don't know what this guy's shooting at. Okay. Everybody missed Cassia, which is good. Yikes. That looked painful. Argent is already below half health. Fuck me. Okay, so we're going to go here and we're going to bust out this fucking shotgun and do the same thing to them. God Emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. It fucked. Uh. Then we're going to run a gun and do it again. Uh, can I hit these three now? Well, technically no. What if I go here? Technically, no, still. Okay. Well, in that case, I want to get in there. Rejoice in battle! Fuck you. Strike is a prayer. Get fucked. This is hunt down the prey. We can bu debuff on that. Worthless. We should have done that, first of all. This doesn't that debuff them. What is her... You're a level four. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Adira, let's move you up since you moved out. Uh, let's get some lightning going, maybe? That'll hit Abelard. I'll also hit Abelard. It's like Cassie and Abelard. And... Okay. Can we get these guys? Not this no line job. of sight. So if, oh, because she's back here. I'm an idiot. Uh, if I go right there, can I just take these guys out? This group of guys Farewell. get fucked. Very cool. And then I will put, I will actually put the forewarning on Argenta. 
so that she uh, can dodge and then I will debuff you you son of a bitch with your big ass shotgun Here that hurts go. a lot yep everybody move up everybody take your pot shots and just miss in general okay I don't know what they did Oh, okay. That didn't hurt as much as I thought. Actually, yes, it did. That hurt a ton. What the fuck are you? You son of a bitch. Uh, okay, Cassia. Can you get somewhere to do this without hurting everyone? Uh, let's go back here. Try it from there, maybe? We want to kind of... Perfect. Battlefields are always drowned in scarlet. Now you're clad in scarlet. Get fucked, everyone. Have a good day. Uh, I will give this to... Argento. Too far. Ah, one too far. Okay. Then in that case, I give it to... Adira? Or Wilbur? Hmm. I give it to Adira. She can psychic insist, strike Lord this Captain. thing. Uh, it seems it didn't do as much damage as I thought. Literally two damage, too little. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Okay. <laughs> Harry, epic, awesome. Oh. Harry, epic, awesome. Okay, Avalar, now you can finally do your thing. Uh, let's... Can you hit these two? No. You can move here and hit these two, though. That'll I've work. I've seen worse battles than this in my time. Oh, that'll... <laughs> oh, you can parry the attacks of opportunity. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good, I didn't know. Uh, you can die. Epic. And then we'll brace for impact. That'll be fine. Pascal. I actually want you to... Why can't you move? That's actually bad. Cut the sinews. Uh, when this creature attacks an enemy with a melee attack, it loses two mo movement points on their turn. Stacks. That's unfortunate. I don't know why I have so little. So I can kill this guy, I can kill this guy. Fuck it. Fuck you. Uh, shit. Should I heal Wilbur? 16, 20, 15. Fuck. Argenta's gonna be in there more though. But all these guys are dead. So it's really just these three and then these two, it seems. Until we're done. Which I think Wilbur will be fine. So I won't. Uh, I won't be healing him. I think that's fine. Fuck it. Uh, Wilbur. You have tons of movement now. What the hell? Uh, we can kill that guy. We can kill some of these guys over here. I think Order that's the up. play. Opposing me was your biggest mistake. And then I think uh, we give movement to Abelard. Not a problem for me. And then Abel. Oh shit! He has ton of movement. What the hell? Um. 40, 13, and then 13, 13. Yeah, let's go here. And then we'll swing on him from there. Victory hey, is imminent. Should have reckless attack. Indeed. I can endure though. And then I guess we just end let's there. Let's get to it. 
Oh, big dodge. Big zero damage. Oh, another big dodge. Get fucked. Okay, Argenta. Uh, let's put you there and then do the shoddy shotgun. Oops, I don't know what I clicked. Okay, I got him. <laughs> that scared me. Um, Rebel and Slaughter. And then Run and Gun. for the weak. And Run and Gun right here. Oh, the, you can't shoot through this. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so if I go... Let me switch my gun here. Oh, yeah, I do have shots on these guys. So if I go there and then I do the burst... I have pretty okay shots here, maybe. Oh! Got one of them. Almost killed the other one. That's good enough. Uh, Adira, you can psychic scream this man to death, was, maybe? Was it you? Or... Damn it, she is so fucking... <laughs> oh, she keeps fucking doing that, eh? Uh, I guess we put that on Pascal now. Does that degrade the veil? It does. Does that degrade the veil? It does. Does that? It does. It super does. Jesus Christ. Didn't realize. Okay, good job. <laughs> good, good shots. Uh, we go here. We go kill this Be man. Be careful not to cross my gaze. And then we go give if only that Argenta. Were possible. I'm afraid not. No line of sight on Argenta, eh? Okay, Wilbur, do you have line of sight on these guys? I'll you do pass. not. Son of a bitch. I fucked that up royally. Uh, let's move you. Do no, you don't have iron sight. Ah, oh, I'm so stupid. Okay, well, let's get in there. Maybe we can charge him from there? Oh, we can. I do Perfect. Like you. Damn. Got him. Who's this guy? You just working? Okay. All right. Cleaned up. Servant, the shivering young servant looks up to you at, at you in horror with their eyes. Emperor, protect me. They they killed. Every time I warn them, <laughs> they all <laughs> they go all, "Dear Emperor, our Lord and Savior, how could this happen? Who could have done God, Adira spits on the ground in annoyance. Uh, let's see. A gang of puny thugs attacked me. The Emperor's anointed rogue trader von Valencia. Such poor organiz organized attempt on my life can only be seen as a personal affront. Fear not, young man. We took care of the attackers. Do you know who they are? Stop quivering, unwashed worm. Uh, what is that? An attack on the right dock? An attack right on the dock. Uh, does this kind of thing happen often? Uh, fear not, young man. We took care of them. Who were they? Your lordship, these guys were en Envers? They're a gang. They're the worst. I'm telling you. Uh, sorry, that guy was talking on the intercom. Uh, they're <laughs> scared of no one, not even Liege Takara. He glances around like he's expecting more bandits to appear. Does this kind of thing happen often? Shooting? Yes. Attacks on nobles? Not very often, unless it's the Envers. They're vicious. Not a week goes by without them killing and gutting someone. They're wicked heretics. They respect nothing. They follow no rules. Go in and report this to the Liege. Yes, I'm sorry, your lordship. I'll go report it to the Liege. They killed her. They killed my lady. Oh, this is terrible. I am a voice actor. In dialogue. Okay. Well, get a bunch of bunch of bullshit. Some flak armor, some chainmail, some a weighty axe. Cool. Some shotguns. Where's that cool gun that lady had? Combat shotgun. Oh, fuck yeah, my guy. Shock baton. Chain swords that nobody used. <laughs> uh, more axes, more auto pistols. Okay, cool. And then we go to Argenta. We go shotgun, 
we want that motherfucking combat shotgun, which is where exactly right here? 18 to 22. This does 10 to 15. This is such a significant upgrade. Holy shit. And look how cool it is, too. Yo, look at her. She's rad as fuck, bro. Okay, cool. Um, I think we actually do give him a different weapon and not a shotgun. Maybe we give him a sniper rifle, maybe so that he has a... a chance of hitting something relatively far. What is Pascal's weapon? What does he have? He has the stub carbine, too. So maybe we give him one, because that's pretty good. I think I will do that. I'll give him one of those. That looks nice and rustic. Uh, Adira, my girl, we want to level you the fuck up, bro. Perfect shot while in cover. The operative's chances of 25% cover efficiency uh, and ballistic skill. That's not very good. She doesn't use ballistics. Target gains intelligence, perception, fellowship, and willpower until the end of combat. I guess that'd be pretty good for like putting that on Cassia or Wilbur for the perception or for the fellowship bonus. And I guess giving it to Cassia would actually be way better for all of those things. So that's interesting. Uh, creates an area that lasts until the start of the cycle next turn. All air allies within the area gain dodge percentage. Their ch dodge chance cannot be less than the psychers perception bonus and willpower bonus. Interesting. Dominate. Uh, on their next turn, uh, the target must pass a willpower resistance test uh, with a penalty. On their next turn, spend all their movement points to move as close as possible towards the Psyker. They can act as normal, but all their MP is spent on moving towards the Psyker. Uh, that's not really good <laughs> for uh, Adira specifically. Sensory deprivation. Tyler, Tyler, target is merely blinded until the start of the next turn. That's pretty cool. They suffer an additional uh, penalty to all characteristics reduced by blindness and must make a willpower resistance test to in, at the end of each turn. Interesting. I think I'll take that. That's a nice debuff. Honestly. That's a pretty good debuff. Um, For this, unnatural luck we took, right? Gains the unnatural luck. Suffer, ally suffers critical hit because of normal hit. Never mind. It's not that good. Uh, we wanted to mental breach, mind siege, mind thief. Anytime the enemy becomes a target of a, any particular psychic ability for the first time, this enemy suffers five penalty to their intelligence perception. The psychic's intelligence perception is increased by two. Whenever the Psyker kills an enemy with psychic powers dealing more damage than the target's wounds, the excess damage will be dealt to the enemy closest to the target. That's fucking phenomenal. Uh, we have all that. Comprehensive analysis of the target of analysis and analyze enemies has two or more exploits. The suffer target suffers one additional exploit. Continuous analysis. At the start of the operative turn, the enemy with the largest number of exploits receives an additional exploit stack. If two or more enemies are tied, the largest number of stacks, uh, one of those enemies is chosen at random. That's pretty good. I think I'll do that. And then we'll go perception, intelligence, perception. Oh, and then here we go again. Choose another ter uh, intelligence, obviously, because she doesn't use weapons or ballistics. And then we get another thing here. Visions of Doom. Enemies that become the target of the psychic powers gain stacking minus 5% penalty to their dodge and parry until the end of combat. That's pretty good. I would like to get that on Cassia with her big ass fucking AoEs. But also, I like that for her because she has the, the lightning. 
Uh, Operator's next turn. Target cannot move. Intimidates all enemies within a five radius cell. Target also provokes some tapper opportunities whenever they attack. Let's do the not moving thing. And then that's good. You're telling me she's not level 16 yet? Yes, she is. Let her level up. What the fuck? Oh, there we go. Okay, I just had to switch back. Um, We don't want another grand strategist, right? I guess we take another bounty hunter, dude. Uh, assassins, they don't really, uh, they don't, this is like a, uh, not a psyker thing, right? I don't think so. Let's go here. What is dispatch? The assassin makes an attack with the current weapon against, yeah, see. Cannot miss. Doesn't matter. We want to use psychic power, so we're not really seeking that. I think we go bounty hunter for her as well. And then, uh, yeah, everybody's halfway to level 17. And I will call it there. Actually, let's... Did we loot everyone here? I don't think we did. Well, there's goods right here. A leaflet. We need no rules or leaders. We are not an organization. We are a force of nature. A new challenge for me. Anver. Okay, all that right there. Okay, there's a ton of shit here and a ton of goods everywhere. Octagon 22. So I'm gonna, I'm actually am gonna call it there. Uh, that dude is working his ass off. Look at that. Give that man a promotion. Jesus Christ, my guy. I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, we're here. We're here in Footfall. We had our first ship combat, which was really fun. I think that's a really interesting mechanic that we have to move all the way currently, like every turn, because the ships are just flying by each other and taking pot shots, basically, which is a really neat way of representing that in a turn-based formula. And then we immediately get combat as soon as we set foot here. But nobody got injured. Uh, no, nothing really bad happened. We got that fucking badass shotgun, which is so good. And yeah, we're gonna be exploring the hell out of this place next time. I'll see you in the next one.